Welcome back, everyone, to the Warlord Espes plays Torment Ties of Numenera, episode 13, I believe. Ooh, 13. Uh, last time we got our new teammate, Iritus, and then we uh, started exploring the Government uh, Square. This time, Let's we're gonna go. actually talk to Iritus and see uh, what he has to say. So, hey, Iritus. What's up? He kissed Iridus staring at the sky with a distant look in his eyes. His strangely pale skin is nearly bronze in the golden glow surrounding him. I should climb a building. No, a tower. And jump off the top. Should it be on fire? Yes. Yes and yes. Yes and yes and yes. The hero is losing focus. Who cares? Are you actually thinking of setting a building on fire? No, he says, shocked. Not today, anyway. We have things to do. The distant look uh, resurfaces along with the need to uh, so deep it approaches hunger. I'm just planning ahead for what for things to. For if things, for if things get, he grimaces as if we're. Uh, he's trying to say, uh, say, paints him. Uh, temporarily safe. Well put. He says, delighted. I couldn't have said it better myself. I know you were meant to uh, share my story. Kisses half uh, uh, stretching happily, he continues. But you aren't here to talk about me. He blinks. Or are you? Or are you? Uh, I have some questions about you. I'm not surprised. He says, please. I'm incredibly interesting. What do you want to know? I keep hearing voices in your head telling you what to do. Loud well, one, the quiet one. They go abruptly fades uh, from Erdos, and he looks older, plainer, exhausted beyond endurance. What? No, come back. He will wake up. He hears a. Uh, he hears a. Uh, we told you. When the golden light turn returns to savage explosion, radius and heat, driving you back uh, a step. Erdos regards you calling from. Uh, Within the pulsing nova, he is also uh, he is so beautiful, and it is hard to look at. Uh, it is hard to look at him. I have no idea what uh, you're talking about. A clever evasion. No convincing him he's not interested in this. Now convince him he's not not interested in this. Let's talk about something else now. We aren't interested in this. His voice is dull and dreamy, and his eyes wander about his face without seeing you. Then the glow recedes like a retreating wave, and the air just blinks. He sees that you're looking his way, then looks behind him and sees what you're staring at. <laughs> what happened to you when I asked about your voice in your head? You never asked about the voice in my head, Erdus says, rolling his eyes. I would have remembered the crazy question like that. Can't you tell me anything about the voices you keep hearing in your head? If you're hearing voices, that sounds like a problem, not mine. <laughs> your problem, not mine. He beams, but a hint of unease flickers across his face. Another clever evasion. We are not. We are not so sure. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. He won't tell me anymore. Alright. I've never heard the name Iridus before. What does it mean? Names mean thing, mean things. He says gaping. I thought you were just uh, there to put words on faces. He frowns. It should mean fast or impossibly handsome, but I really have no idea. Do you know what the name means? He says, turning to your other companions. Honest Tiber says, flashing his teeth. My dear mother was a woman of unwarranted hopes. I think it suits you, Iridus says that earnestly. I hope mine doesn't mean thief. No one would uh, trust me anymore. Hold on, he says, ripping a much uh, folded paper from his uh, doublet. Doublet. It sounds like an exciting quest to uh, set off on someday. He rides furiously, and tongue tongue peeking out between his teeth. Discover secret meaning of name. Done. He tucks the page back into his. Uh, Doublet grinning. Hmm. Where do you come from? 
I came out uh, of the west here, just declares he's glowing, intensifying. Traveling day and night to escape the hired killers hunting me every step. It's not what I meant. Where did you come from originally? From the storm of the south at first. I think it was only an outline of the clouds of dust. But then, it is leans forward, palms to his red eyes wide. I have merged, swords in every hand, cape swirling, it should have been, you should have been there. I don't think you understand me. Where were you born? That's a strange question, he says, his glowing, glowing dimming. Babies aren't interesting. Then he brightens, literally, of course, and asking, you asked about when I realized I was a hero. <laughs> mm. No, I'm trying to figure out what liter liter literal place of birth, there it is, where you grew up. Who knows, he says, waving a ha careless hand. Who cares? Heroes come from village villages, so it's probably where I'm from, a village. What is glowing surrounding you? What glow? Seriously. Okay, you're just not gonna tell me anything cool. Here it is blinks. Uh Tell me about the people we're traveling with. Oh I like them, he says very airily. They keep things from from getting too quiet or thoughtful. They get get in the way of mirrors, and I appreciate that. He blinked several times. Oh, you weren't more specific details? Who about? You mentioned what? You mentioned that you don't like mirrors? Why is that? I did, he says, blinking. What a strange thing to say. Who doesn't like mirrors? I certainly don't. Wait. He frowns his golden arrow or face until it almost isn't there. I like mirrors, he says finally. I have no problem with them. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Opinions of people we're traveling with. Okay. Opinions, I love giving those. Glista. She's really smart. Here it is says ticking uh it tickling uh, ticking his fingers. Beautiful, interesting T interesting too. And there's so many of her. He hesitates. I don't understand a lot of what she says though. Dearest, that might just be because uh, you have no grasp of when when you're being insulted. Might be, Erdo says cheerfully. Tiber. He is such a nice man, Erdo says, shaking his head. Before we met, I had too much uh, money to spend. Now I barely have any at all. Lighter pockets make a happy lad, Tiber says, jingling a, jingling a little. He told me that one of them might... Uh, uh, that's one of his uh, famous sayings, Erdis whispers, delighted. Talk about something else? Alright, cool. Alright, what do you guys think of it? Thanks for taking me on, lad. Always good to have a friend watching your back, huh? Now, what can I do for you? Uh, uh, okay, this one. Uh, Erdis, what do you think of Erdis? Isn't he a treasure? Do a anything for uh, you, he would. Do anything for anybody if you made him not think it was exciting enough. Are you talking about me? I heard you say exciting. I never stop talking about you, lad, he says, winking to you. How could I? Alright. And Calissa. As you wish. What do you think about Eridus? Have you noticed the glowing cloud uh, that surrounds him? I'm convinced it hides something. I would examine it more closely if he would let me, but then I suppose I would have to be honest, listen to him blather or and, uh, as I did as I did so. Yes, what Eridus says, jolting out of his wide eye examination of the sky. I heard you say blathering. Are you talking about me again? You were never far from my thoughts, dear. Believe me. Alright. 
Go back to task again. I'm ready. All right, cool. I'm always ready. He's such a fun individual. So let's explore in here. Somebody who knows. What do you know? This one expression that defies easy definition. It is cool and professional, but focus, interested. She nods and you claps your her hands. I haven't seen you in here before, she says, her voice oddly muted. Before we begin, you should understand where we are. She gestures to one of the plant-like structures nearby. These things? This is the Red Thicket. No one can listen to any of our conversation here. You can all only hear me because I am speaking to you directly. One of her uh, eyebrows arches suddenly. You are trying to scan my thoughts. You won't find anything in my mind, of course. If I could uh, be undone by such a simple uh, trick, be, uh, I'd be out of uh, business. She flicks the air near the, her shoulder. Though nothing is there. It's a useful skill, nothing, nonetheless. People's best secrets are nearly found, rarely found on the surface. But their thoughts can guide you if you listen. I expect you and I will be have so mu have much to talk about. Have you come to trade? I can't read your thoughts, but can you read mine? No, she uh, gives you a reassuring smile. If I could, I, I'd have no need to trade now, would I? Don't worry, I'm a broker, not a thief. Trade what? I am a knowledge broker, she says, a hunter of information. Come to me with a question and I will answer. Uh, and if I have answers, I will trade them. She strains for our third further and blinks once. Managed to make the simple action look as though it was planned in advance. My person is simple, a secret for a secret. The only condition that is that it must be one I do not already know, and it should warn you that I know a great deal. Hmm. How do I know you won't claim to know a secret that you never heard before? A fair question, she asked. If she is offended, she doesn't show it. But I don't bother with that. A sorn says, you can either judge me honestly or Honestly, yourself, or take your business elsewhere. Sounds like a fair deal. It is, she agrees. But there is something you should know. Anything you choose to tell me, of course, that I'll be traded to others due time. A very slight smile crosses her lips. In short, if you finish to wish to keep something in a secret, don't tell it to me. Hmm. All right, I'm interested. Good, she says simply. What information do you need? Hmm. I'm looking for a woman named whatever that is. I have heard her. Heard a. I have heard of her. She says I don't know where she is. Are you sure? Okay. Alright, random secret for a random secret. To anyone, pleasure from, uh, warms her heart. Agreed, she says. What do you offer? Hmm. <laughs> huh. Almost sneezed there. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you accept secrets from uh, about Sidious Glyphs? Of course, she says. If I don't, if I don't already know them, of course. Hmm. I don't think I want to get talk about uh, orphanages. That doesn't seem right. I don't really think I'm going to get anything from here for now. Till next time. Uh. Dignitaries, ambassador. Merchant. Blah blah blah. Nobody important. This one. You have a name. This little man looks at him to be in good shape, and though his face remains hidden within uh, his hood, he carries himself with confidence. 
His clothing exudes uh, something like smoke that makes him look a bit of a like, bit like a ghost. Perhaps a man who can can't be found found if he doesn't want to be. Irathor Bren. I R Thor. Well, it hurt. Irathor Bren. He stays pleasure. I'm a merc, head of the Lanthian Spectre Company. What brings you to the Red Dot Thicket? Mm -hmm. Tell me about the your company. We do infiltration mostly, he says. With a smoothness that implies he's given this speech before. Sabotage, assassination, assorted hostile recovery. Something the city hires us. Sometimes the city hires us to handle local threats, problematic trash, roaming predators, you name it. He chuckles. Pretty quiet these days, not like when we got started. Our first big job was a series of assaults on, in the endless battle. He looks fan. He looks familiar. The tattoo, especially. I can't think wh who uh, I'd known. Can't think why I'd known him though. Hmm. What did you group special? No, I already asked that. What's the end of this battle? Are you saying, really? He says, cocking his eyebrow. All right, it's basically like it sounds. A fight that gives people like me solid payday for more generations than anyone can count. He shrugs. As far as I heard, it's it's a scrap between rival factions of the Changing Gods, Castos. What about? I couldn't tell you. He cracks a grin. Getting interested in the way of war always ends up uh, being bad for business. Mm. What did you do in the end of this battle? Can't say, he says automatically. Contracts, you understand. All I can tell you is the Chalcedian pays in t on time, and that's more than I can say for some of my employers. I've heard it every year. Uh, had over the years. He says, one of the best jobs we uh, jobs we've had ever had. Who's the whatever that name is? One of the commanders of the Changing God side, he says, pays well and on time, and that's all that's the extent of my opinion on on the matter. Now my turn for a question. If it's not just uh, the tattoo that gives you uh, away, I know you, don't I? Where from? You we fight together, fight each other. What is it? His hands drop it to a pocket near his hips. Tell the truth or not now. I'll, I'll know if you're if you're lying. His thoughts don't tell me anything. I'll get, I'll have to sit down, try the direct approach. Try to remember. Mm. Yeah, let's go full bore, full bore. Aw, I don't know. Poopy. You see at the moment that features time out. Future memory uh, slipping in, the, in your and out and out of focus through your mind. Through your mind, eventually it fades, leaving you with nothing. Well, uh, I the Thor, I are Thor, says, are you going to tell me uh, how you know each other or not? How we know each other or not? I have no idea. Arthur uh, stares you out you down something tick uh, tickles the back of your mind. This is miserable, he says, scratching his head. I'm going to be running uh, your face through my head all day. His thoughts don't betray uh, betray anything, but I know I've seen him before. Can you read my thoughts? He barks a loud laugh. The only way you'd know that is if you could read mine, too. Useful skull, isn't it? Most of the time, anyway. Uh, what are you doing, Sigis? Negotiation, he says shortly. I'm between meetings with a few council representatives. Uh, representatives. They may want us for uh, for some uh, ongoing work. He shows his teeth. Bit of a bidding war going on right now, to be honest. We're in demand. So long as all the sides are interested, the strongest will, will prevail. As it should be. Hmm. Alright. Wish I could have remembered why 
You know me, yes. but whatever. All right, now who to talk to? Uh, anything over here first? Coming. Hmm. Don't look at. All right. Uh, you. This woman is dressed much like the levies that flank her, but unlike them, her expression is sober and alert. Her hair is cut short in a corner of her eyes, wrinkled with crow's feet. A little swarm of mechanical drones circle around her, buzzing messages in her ear. In her ears, she whispers out replies in return, and every so often, one of them wh whisks away, disappearing in the, into the city. What is it, citizen? She pauses, eyes out, darting to your tattoo, then your face. No, you're the one they call Adahan. I heard you were in the city. Uh, is that my real name? Huh. She actually not, knows me. You sense a sudden weariness in her. In her. You've been ten years since your last visit. I was too young to uh, know you then. But the drones remember. Hmm. Why does that name sound familiar? I almost want to say that's a name you could uh, tell people in the other game, the... Um, oh, Torment. Other Torment game before this. You can convince people that you can, uh, that that's your name and this uh, person will actually appear because of belief. It's actually kind of cool. I wonder if you, you can't really do that in this game. Not that I've seen, no one's asked my name. Hmm. What do the drones remember about me? On cue of two of our attendant drones, ah, uh, dip close to our ear, emitting stream of uh, raspy noises that might be seem like sort of language. You keep to your own affairs, but ever, everywhere you went, the city held its breath. People defer to you, even the one, the ones with power and influence. You look the, the same as you do now, exactly the same. I want to know why, and if you don't mind telling me, I want to know what you're doing now. The stories they tell me are, are troubling. I'll have to keep the eye on this one. Hmm. Ah, uh, why not? I'm trying to escape a creature that's hunting me. Smoking turtles are uh, rousting talons and uh, towering nimbleous shape, she said says the look on our face and nods. I've seen it, but the only through the eyes of a drone. Not long ago I killed a man it killed a man on in the streets, a man with the same market you bear. If anyone else knew that word be would be there'd be panic, even if only even if it's only hunting people like you. I haven't told anyone, not even the council. Another drone uh, swoops past that uh, use, stopping just short of the woman's head, and at least as they see her rest, she buzzes and squawks. She whispers something to it and then glances back at to you in your direction. What is it you wanted? Hmm. Who are you? Sigun. Sigin? Sigin? That is your name. Captain of the uh, levies. I'm not that. Not a levy myself, but I command them. What are levies? She gestures to the two burly, smiling men to her left and right. They look like uh, identical twins. Soldier, soldiers in the council service. They keep her order in the city. Her lips per, uh, parse briefly, but she continues. Every citizen is required. To you raise a levy for the city's defense. The price is a year of their lives. Do your levies keep every district safe? No, she frowns. Underbelly lives under its own law, and Cliff's Edge lives under no law at all. Hmm. If the levies don't keep order in the underbelly, then who does? A man called Folsom expresses his uh, unreadable. I don't know anything about him, except the council needs him, and so he does whatever he likes. Why don't you send out any levies to Cliff's Edge? 
A lot of the homes have been collapsing and the city hasn't been able to help. Her tone is cautiously neutral. The council believes that there that the presence of levies would be could incite them uh, incite them to violence. In the, it's the Mamvora, the council giving her free reign outside the bloom as well. How are levies raised? Anyone who levy on, lives in the city can become a citizen ex a citizen at sixteen years of age. Or the equivalent if they're not human. There's only one requirement. They step into the machine at the order of truth and make it way takes away a year of their citizen's life. He uses their year to create a, a levy. She lowers her voice to signaling beyond for the benefit of the levy standing beside her. The one year is uh, all a levy gets. Then it's all over. They die. Hmm. The levy seem awfully happy. A smile and a pleasant demeanor could have a hundred expl explanations. Yet this whole city is uh, fooled by, by them. She shakes her head. I know the levies be better than anyone. So the truth is plain to, see, uh, plain to me. Though I'd be lying if it, if it claimed to truly understand. If I claimed to truly understand them. If I only had a year to live that wasn't my own, I wouldn't be happy either. Hmm. Have other questions? What are you, what were you saying to the drones? They carry my orders to levies all over the city, and they bring reports not from the levies back to me. She reaches out a hand, and one of the drones buzzes something untangible. A few years ago, the animal priest found them buried on the ground, and brought them back to life. I learned their language, so our conversations are safe from prying ears. Hmm. What's the building behind you? She frowns. How is that you don't recognize the the government? I know you lived out here for our time. Let's more learn more about those castoffs. Something isn't right about them. Hmm. Tell the truth, I've lost my memory. You've lost uh, me lost more than that. I've seen the images of you through the eyes of the drones. Ten years ago, you moved differently, carried yourself like a king, and stood uh, in the steadfast. You lost your soul, or gained one. She's tr He's not who he was. The pain, uh, that's a pain I understand all too well. I don't mean to be harsh, she gives a faint smile. Thank you for being honest with me. She waves her hand at the drawers behind her, behind her. The council meets in here, in there. A representative from every slave, fa every slave family in from, from some of the guilds, depending upon who's in, in favor. Hardly anyone goes in through the doors, though. They're just a formality. Most people have other ways getting inside and out. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to find a woman named that. The white death, uh, her expression goes flat, but her eyes flicker on the tattoo again. I should have guessed that. If fantasy name is all you want, then you should ask uh, for her in the underbelly. That's the place uh, any of my drones saw her. Last place any of my drones saw her. And and she lives down. And the levees don't venture down there. She leans, she leans in a little closer and lowers her voice. And if you uh, leave the city for afterward, I'd be very happy if you took her with you. Mm. Alright, so I'm done talking to you. Alright. Well, that's it for today. Until next time, remember to embrace the chaos or you'll go mad. Bye.